What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burn or Chill. What a guest we have. But before we get started, Phoenix, tell them what Burn or Chill means. We are going to be asking our guests a series of questions, and they will answer with Burn or Chill. Burn means they like it. It's hot. They're rocking with it. And Chill means, you know what? I'm going to pass on that and why. But what a special guest we have in the house today. He is the number 12 ranked UFC middleweight contender of the world and... By the time this video comes out, he will have a main event August 24th here in Las Vegas at the UFC Apex against Jared Cannonier. So please welcome Kyle Baharlo. What's up, boys? Thank What's you, Kyle. Up? Pleasure to be here, guys. Thank you for the invite. Thank yeah. you so much for doing this. You ready Thank for you. these five questions, though? Yeah, I'm ready like I'm ready for the five rounds. Hey, <laughs> call the shots. We'll get right into it with the first question. We were in Manchester. You were in Manchester. That's yeah, actually where we met. Yeah, exactly. But would you burn or chill the UFC fights happening at 3 a.m. in the morning? Oh, man. If you ask me in the fight week there, I would burn. <laughs> but now, chill, brother. I never want to do this again, you know? <laughs> we kind of wake it up like 1, 2 a.m. to train, you know? Like, it's actually, we... We, we stay waking up until 1, 2 a.m. to train, so we went to sleep like 5 a.m. So it was wow. crazy routine, but I chill, I chill, I pass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me personally, I would for sure chill that. I don't know what the UFC was trying to do. Maybe it was the TV times with ESPN or something, why they had to start it at 3 a.m., but no, being there... Just, I saw some videos on social media of people like this in the crowd. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, uh -huh. They and were sleeping. Uh -huh. I'm like, surpri I'm surprised not that the fighters were tired, but yeah. I feel like you did see it as like the main card went on. You yeah. did see some of the fighters start to get a little yeah, exactly. tired. Exactly, exactly. Like, if I was going to attend the event just to see, I would slept the entire day, yeah. <laughs> waking up like 11 and just go to the <laughs> event, you know? Uh -huh. If I was going to fight, I will make sure that I was going. I was training in the right time. You know that makes a lot of difference to your body. You know. Yeah. Do you feel jet lag still? Uh? Are you tired still? Or uh, you feel better? I'm getting back. I, I'm I'm getting back to the time zone, the routine. Because I was in Brazil, and then I flew to Manchester. It's five four hours uh, time zone difference. And then oh. over there, I flew directly to Vegas here. And it's eight hours time time zone difference, you know. Oh so my god! My body is still like figuring out where <laughs> the, where he is, you know. So body's I'm, confused. I'm, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, Manchester was absolutely phenomenal, though. Love the city. Great Me people. Too. But it's time to go to question number two, Kyle. You have the main event coming up, but burn or chill fighting on the main card of a massive UFC pay per view, or headlining your own UFC fight night at the Apex. So you have to burn one or and chill one? So you have to pick. Do you burn or chill oh, pay-per-view or is, burn or chill UFC main event it's Apex? It's hard to answer that with <laughs> a main event schedule, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but at this moment of my career, I think I would burn the main event. Yeah. Because... It will be my first main event. So it will be very, you know, Let's go. special for my career. One of the biggest fight of my life. So I would definitely burn mm -hmm. that because of the moment right now and chill the pay per view main card. You know, yeah. If I had like two or three main events around my back already, I would like chill that and uh -huh. that's the pay per view main event. Main yeah, card, you know? for sure. Especially <laughs> if you already had like one or two fights in your career, fighting on a massive pay per view would be cool. But once you've already been there, done that, exactly. it's time to get your own yeah. spotlight in yeah. the first of many main yeah, events. Yeah, the first of many, and you, and you know, like, your face on the poster and yeah. stuff, you know, like, it's special. Uh -huh. I know you're a couple weeks out, but does it feel different, the camp, or same camp, same thing? Uh, it's just the, the only thing different is because it's five-round fight. So now I'm training to do five rounds instead of three. So that's the only thing different. I don't take it, like... Too much difference mentality or anything like that because I don't want that kind of pressure on me, you know. Like, I feel like it's a normal fight, just yeah. go there, two more rounds. Let's yeah. do it. Let's go do, do it. We'll be there live. Be yeah. sure you tune in August 24th. But Kyle, it's time to go to question number three. The week before, a massive fight in your division, Adesanya versus Drakus Duplessis. So, do you burn or chill 
that fight? I burned the fight, actually. I think there's much, a lot of things around the fight. They're both from Africa, and they have the, the they encounter that they were like, oh, you're not from Africa. Uh -huh. I'm from Africa, you know, yep. like, you're, you're my African brother, or you're not. <laughs> uh -huh. So there's, there's a lot of history around that, so I'll definitely burn that one for sure. Yeah, and you're looking at Adesanya, who hasn't fought in a year, so things are going to be interesting with Drikas, who many people thought he lost to Sean Strickland. I, but I think though, I think, think so too. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think the whole MMA community yeah. thought he lost his <laughs> yeah. <John> strike <Strickland>, But <laughs> well, it was really just the one cut that yeah. made the big difference in the yeah. fight. If he yeah, didn't get exactly. cut, judges might have did it differently. But yeah. who who do you have in that fight? Who do you think's winning? Between Adesanya and, and, and Drikus. I think Adesanya. Uh, but it's crazy because I always bet against Dr Drikus and I always lost. You know, I was always <laughs> thinking too. that he was Me going too. to lose to. Darren Till, to Branson, to all those guys, I was like, no, to against Whitaker, Robert Whitaker. I was like, there's no way this guy is winning, Rob, you know? And then he did what he did. He doing very good. I'm calling him out for my previous three fights. I call him out two times already. Uh, so, he's running. Yeah. He's running. But he's doing it right, uh, you know? He's winning all these fights. So <laughs> it's hard to get him, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, but, come back here. Yeah. Come back here. But you know, like... After I win my fight on 24th, and after he lose his fight to Adesanya, <laughs> if I don't go straight to the belt, I think that's the fight I want, and then after that to the belt. You know? To so the belt? Let's do it, Dreykus. Call uh -huh. the shot. But if Dreykus wins, you're calling out Dreykus. Exactly, because uh -huh. I've been calling out for so long, so <laughs> please attend my call out. You're the champion uh -huh. now. Let's fucking fight, you know? <laughs> I did, you did your job. You were you are winning, uh -huh. and I did my job yeah. too. I'm winning too, so let's do let's it. Do let's it. do it. Come Book on, Dana it right White. now. Book, Book it. it. Yes, but it's time to go to question number four. This one's kind of a funny one. You have to burn and chill one. Burn or chill? Hopefully, I'm saying this right. Panju Keju or Acai Brazilian Acai. Ooh, brother. <laughs> Actually, I'm eating a lot of Acai with no sugar in it because during camp. The, no, no, oh, when acai, I was out yeah, of, yes. yeah. So there's the acai that comes from the florist, you know, like the real acai, it comes with no sugar, nothing. And there's the acai that is kind of ice cream. I say yeah. you put a little bit of things on there, you know, uh -huh. it's good too, uh -huh. you know. But I like both, but I like the one with no sugar in it. So I'll definitely burn acai. Ponte queijo is good, it's, it's kind of tasty, but. I prefer more 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 acai, Master. so I burn acai and chill with a pound of cajun. Oh, <laughs> after your fight, you right, brother. Uh, after your fight, we gotta take you to a place here. It's called Boca de Brazil. Oh, it's so, nice. it's I went so, there. I, oh, I you eat, been there? I eat there. Yeah, yeah? I eat there you already. like it? Yeah, it was very good, very good taste of Brazil. Really, it was a yeah. very uh -huh. good taste. It's I, true. I used to buy some picanhas there too. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. so definitely a good place. I love meat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. After your fight, we'll go there. Let's go. Brother. Let's uh -huh. go. But it's time to go to the fifth and final question. Again, you have to burn one or chill one. I know there's some beautiful beaches in Brazil. <laughs> so do you burn or chill beaches in America? Or beaches in Brazil? Uh, I'll definitely burn the beaches in Brazil, you know. I yeah. think that I'm from a coast coast place, you know. You, you're talking about beaches? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like coast, oh. right? Yeah, not yeah, beaches, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not <laughs> beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wife would kill me, you know? <laughs> like, so, she's like, what? <laughs> actually, I'm from Northwest Brazil. It's named Maranhão. And one of the most beautiful places there is called Lençóis Maranhenses. It's a big desert with a lot of uh, lakes, natural oh, wow. lakes from, from the rain. Like, it's, it's lakes in the desert. It's like one of the most beautiful things in the world, you know? So I'm coming from that place, so I really love a coast city yeah. and all this stuff, you know? So I'll definitely burn uh -huh. the beaches in Brazil and chill the beaches in America. Yeah, I mean, being from the United States, the beaches here are good. But once you go to a whole different country, it's even more beautiful over yeah. there, yeah. And especially the coast of Brazil, which yeah. is so cool from the ocean. Wait, what part did you say you're from? I'm from Northwest Brazil. It's called Maranhão. Maranhão? Yeah, okay. Maranhão, and this is the state. The city, the capital, is called San, San Luis. It's St. Louis. Louis. It's like an island. Okay. Two million, two million people you know, wow. over there. 
and it's, it's eyes low. So everywhere this beach, you know. Uh, yeah. So if I'm looking at Brazil on a map, Rio is like all the way up top. So Rio, right here, or in like the middle, I guess, right? Yeah, a little bit down, a little bit one more. It's in the right, yeah, and a little bit down. Not not in the south that much, but yeah. in the middle. In the yeah. middle. Yeah. And Maranhão is in the north. It's the last one in the northwestern. After oh, that, wow. it's north. Oh. Okay. So it's, so the it's last like top. one on the top. Yeah, on the top of, of Brazil. Yeah. Wow. We might have to go there sometime. You we need have to, to go brother. there. I'm going to show you pictures from Les Sois Maranhenses. You guys are going to be crazy to go there, brother. I, I swear to you. This, this is a plan. Kyle gets the first round knockout August 24th. We go to Buca de Brazil the next day. And then the next day after, we're flying to Brazil and we're going to go check this I'm place down. out. I burn it. <laughs> I burn, I burn it. it. Me too. I burn that decision Let's too. Let's go. But all right, that's going to do it from this episode of Burner Chill. Thank you, Kyle, for coming Thank on. You. Tell the audience where they can find you, your Instagram, TikTok everything first of all thank you guys for the invite thank you it was a pleasure being here very funny thank you so much <laughs> and you can find me on instagram kyle bojalio or just find the natural there or on youtube or anywhere you guys want on the x and anywhere you guys want kyle bojalio go there follow me and enjoy the trip you heard the man go give him some love and tune in august 24th as he takes on jared kane near in the main event spotlight but we are out of this episode of burn our chill Good time.